Optimal Health and Vitality After 50. My name is Trisha O'Hara. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So today I would like to talk about how to prevent muscle loss in your legs as you age. So as we age, there's a condition known as sarcopenia that sets in. If you don't know what sarcopenia is, it is the involuntary loss of muscle mass and strength. Also, as we age, research showed that we tend to lose muscles in the lower extremities first. And a big reason for this is we, we become more sedentary and we're just sitting around more. And unfortunately, muscles are on a use it or lose it basis. So if we're not using them, they're going to deteriorate. Makes sense. Also, the body does not produce the same amount of protein that muscles need for growth. And we also have a decrease in number and size of muscle fibers causing the muscles to thin, known as muscle atrophy. But the good news is all of this can be reversed by incorporating some daily habits and starting to work out. In fact, research from the Institute of Aging has showed that even up to our 70s and 80s, we can still build muscle. So that's good news. Anyway, so what we need to start doing is to start moving. And that can be something as simple as getting out and walking your 10,000 steps, although they say seven to 8,000 is sufficient. And you wanna think of starting to do some kind of strength training. And that can be something as simple as doing exercises, body weight exercises, which you can even do in the comfort of your own home. That can be like squats or lunges, or if you have stairs in your house, walking up and down stairs. If you live next to a hill, you can walk up and down a hill. But with that being said, we also want to think about improving and maintaining the quality of the muscle. And in order to do that, we will also need to make sure that we're doing some kind of high intensity exercise. And what I mean by that is in our muscles, we have two types of fibers. We have the slow twitch muscle fibers known as type one, and we have the fast twitch muscle fibers known as uh, type two. Slow twitch muscle fibers are, tend to be fatigue resistant, are more endurance activities and aerobic in nature. So that can be, you know, going out for a slow jog, a walk, you know, working in your garden, cleaning your house. Be sitting here right now, I'm using my slow twitch muscle fibers for postural control. And then on the other hand, we want to think of doing exercises to switch on the type two muscle fibers. And type two, and type two muscle fibers, the fast twitch muscle fibers um, are not fatigue resistant and they tend to be more explosive movements and uh, movements that you can only sustain for a short period of time, like doing hill repeats, um, doing sprints, doing more plyometric type exercises, doing HIT, high intensity interval training. And so with that being said, if you can incorporate that even just like a couple times a week, for 20 or 30 minutes, you will gain the benefit of switching on those type two muscle fibers and improve the quality of your muscles. Now, what I'm gonna show you now is some different type of plyometric exercises, some speed and agility exercises that will improve the strength, the mobility and endurance, and also improve your coordination with multi uh, exercises because you have to remember that our body moves in three planes of motion. So in order to get the most benefit and the most mobility in our body, we need to do exercises and movements that incorporate these three planes of motion. So first I'm going to show you, the first exercise I'm going to show you is the side to side hop. Now this is an exercise used in the lateral plane and it's also working on my balance as I am landing on one foot. The next exercise I'm showing you here is the cross cross squat. And what this is working on is exercise in that lateral plane again, but then as I'm rotating clockwise, I am then going, taking my body into the transverse plane. It's also working on my balance and coordination as well. I'm doing it clockwise and then counterclockwise.
This next exercise is the burpees. Then what's great about the burpees, it's a full body movement, meaning that it's working the muscles of the lower extremities, your core, as well as your upper um, body. It's a very explosive movement, depending on how you're doing it. So it's an explosive movement. And um, this will definitely build strength and uh, endurance in your body if you do these on a regular basis. The next exercise I'm showing you is the working with the ladder. And this is uh, utilizing speed, agility, and coordination. There's many different um, movements you can do on the ladder. I'm showing you here three different movements, but again, this is really great for using the muscles of the lower body. This next exercise that I'm showing you is a step up lunge. And this is really great for building strength in your legs as well as working on your balance as I'm landing on one leg and then going back into a reverse lunge. Now you can even make this more challenging by putting weights in your hands. Anyway, so these are some uh, examples of doing that higher intensity, more plyometric exercises to switch on those type two muscle fibers. So again, if you just need to do it a couple times a week, maybe 20, 30 minutes, and that'll really drive your heart rate up. It'll increase your VO2 max. It'll actually increase your metabolism and you'll be burning a lot more calories even hours after you do the exercise. And this is great also to, um, strengthen your heart um, and your cardiovascular system. So um, those are some different examples for switching on the type two muscle fibers. And going back to the muscles, we do need to make sure that we're eating enough protein also as we age because proteins are the building blocks of muscles. So you can get, um, they suggest uh, that you should eat at least one to 1 1.2 grams per kilogram of body weight or if you're in pounds, that number is about 0.68 grams per pound of body weight per day. Now you can get uh, protein from many different sources such as fish, lean meats. If you are plant-based, then you can get uh, protein from bean, nut, soybean sources. Also what's suggested is to take some supplements, supplements such as creatine, omega-3s, vitamin D. In fact, vitamin D is an essential, uh, plays an essential role of the growth and maintenance of our muscles. And also you wanna make sure that you're drinking enough water because we are made up of 60 to 70% water and a hydrated body will give us the energy necessary to get through our exercise. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd truly be grateful. And leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought or let me know other subjects you'd like me to talk about because this channel is for you as I want you to live the healthiest life possible, especially as we're living longer. So I hope you go out and have an amazing day and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.